Mrs. McNosh and the Great Big Squash The first day of spring, Mrs. Nellie McNosh went out to her garden and planted a squash. She pushed the seed in with the tip of her toe, and the minute she did it, it started to grow. At first it was round and as big as a head. In fact, it looked just like the paper boy Fred. Then it turned yellow and bumpy and fat. It rolled from the garden and flattened the cat. It knocked over trash cans and ran over toes. It twisted the sprinkler and plugged up the hose. It crashed through the clothesline and smashed through the fence, scaring the pants off two elderly gents. Poor Nellie was worried, she said. Oh my gosh, there's got to be some way to slow down this squash. She slapped it and scolded it pinched it and kicked it, and then she took hold of its stem, and she picked it. Now, what do, what do I do? wondered Miss McNosh. I've got to find something to do with this squash. There isn't a place in the world it would fit. It's big as a house. Wait, said Nellie, that's it. And so by the light of a big yellow moon, she scooped and she scraped with a long-handled spoon. And when the sun rose, where was Mrs. McNosh? Curled up sound asleep in her big yellow squash. The end. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe.